Heavenly Father, King of glory, God of glory, the glory of Israel. Heavenly Father, the one and only, the living God, the shepherd of our soul. Let your name be lifted up, let your name be exalted, let your name be magnified. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end of all things. You are our Father who are in heaven, our Father that made us, our Father that created us, our Father that is gracious on us. We worship you today, we bow down before you, we magnify you today, we praise you because you are a good God. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the Spirit of Life, Holy Spirit, the Remember of Mysteries, Holy Spirit, the Director, Holy Spirit, the Teacher, Holy Spirit, our friend that is with us. We pray that you anoint us afresh today. You give us a word, give us a revelation, give us a new understanding. Deliver us from all the evils in the land in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is Morning Cry coming to you from Save the World Christian Ministry, a ministry with a divine mandate to set the captives free and give sight to the blind by the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Dr. Baba Tokwe Baba Nubi. And today we are going to reflect by the power of the Holy Spirit on Matthew chapter 20, which tells the story of the man that went to recruit workers for the vineyard. You find that story in Matthew chapter 20, the parable of the workers in the vineyard. The summary of the parable is that there was a man that was an owner of a vineyard, the owner of a farm that went out in the morning to recruit workers. They also went out in other hours of the day, but at the end of the day, he paid all the workers equal wages. He paid everyone and he paid them equal wages after they completed his assignment. Now there are some lessons we can draw from this. There are some lessons we can draw from the parable of the owner of the vineyard and the workers that work in the vineyard. The first lesson we need to draw is that if you are looking for a job, position yourself. The owner of the vineyard was looking for workers and he went to the marketplace. He didn't go to an hotel. He didn't go to even the church or sanctuary. He went to the marketplace because he knew laborers who are looking for job will be in the marketplace. So if you are looking for job, position yourself. And as you position yourself today, this same day, you shall find an employer looking for you, looking for your skills in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Another lesson we can know is that if you are looking for a job, go out any in the morning. Go out to look for a job any in the morning. The sun is rising any in the morning so that you can start working any in the morning. You can't be looking for a job and go out in the evening. Position yourself any in the morning. If you are looking for an appointment, go out any in the morning. If you want to meet somebody for an interview or somebody to connect you, go out to see the person as early as possible. Don't wait until 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. And as you step out today, heaven shall direct your steps. Heaven shall order your steps. You shall go to the right place at the right time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the next thing you can learn is that if you are looking for a job, start handy. Start in the morning. And the morning in this sense is the, the morning of your life. Once you finish school, put make yourself available for employment as any as possible. Most companies like to recruit young graduates. So it's better for you to start your career when you are young, when you are 20, 21, 22, when you are in your 20s. Because most people like fresh hands. It's easier to get a job as a young graduate than to waste your life, which is not your portion, and start looking for a job at the age of 40 or 50. Because at that age, people will expect you to have some experience. You can only get a middle-level job, a managerial job at that age. So make hay when the sun shines. The end of your morning shall not be wasted. You shall not waste your mornings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're also an employer, you can learn a lesson from the parable, the parable of the workers in the vineyard. The employer paid all the workers the wages he promised them. Don't cheat your workers. Don't cheat your workers. 
no matter what you are doing in your businesses whether it's a company you have or whether it's a business you have don't cheat your workers don't underpay your work don't withhold the wages of your workers pay them their due so that heaven will not be hungry with you it is well with you today as you step out either as an employer or employee your steps shall be ordered you shall take the right decisions God will cause your job to locate you. This day shall not be wasted. The Spirit of God shall order your steps today. That profitable job that heaven has ordained for you, possess it, possess it, possess it now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is an owner of a vineyard that is looking for a worker today. And I declare and declare you shall be the person, you shall be divinely selected, you shall be divinely appointed, you shall be divinely promoted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your job shall locate you today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.